I'm excited because we're entering inside a new era of AI and cloud certifications because AWS just announced the industry's first Gen AI professional level cloud certification for developers. So it's called, it's called, it has a mouthful. It's called AWS Certified Generative AI Developer Professional Certification. <laughs> That's crazy, right? And another thing is that they're actually going to retire the longstanding machine learning specialty certification. Right? That's pretty interesting, right? But as we get into this video, I'm going to tell you what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about, I have it here, let me make sure I get it. What's the new generative uh, AI certification course? Why the machine learning specialty was retired? Who is this new cert for? How to prepare for it? And then we're going to see how this fits into the overall future of AI developer um, roles and certification at AWS. So this is a major move, right? Both for AWS and the industry, because we tend to see AWS set the standard when it comes to things like this. Now, historically, the machine learning specialty was where you needed to verify and show um, your machine learning skills on AWS. But with the rise and the explosion of Gen AI, we're talking about large language models, we're talking about multimodal applications, um, the landscape has kind of changed, right? So AWS is kind of evolving their AI machine learning portfolio and making it more um, practical. We're talking about building more production level um, Gen AI applications on AWS, right? So that's where we're moving to. So with the retirement of the machine learning specialty, actually, the last day for you to do it would be March 2026. So you still can take that certification if you want to. Personally, I wouldn't since it's about to be retired. I would say just focus on trying to get this professional cert. But if you look at the evolution now, the pathway in which AWS is kind of pushing people towards of getting that Gen AI and, uh, or, or AI machine learning understanding to their certifications would be first the AI foundational cert, and then the data engineer cert, then the machine learning associate certification, and then you're moving more to the Gen AI professionals um, certification, right? So that's more like the pathway which you're gonna have to be moving. So who are the people who are supposed to be taking this certification? Let's talk about it. So this certification is really designed for customers who are developers who want to design, build, and deploy enterprise-grade Gen AI solutions on AWS. Right? So this goes way beyond just prompt engineering. We're talking about everything that happens behind the scenes when you're building these production grade, you know, Gen AI applications, right? So we're talking things about like model selection and adaptation. We're talking about cost optimization. We're also talking about building pipelines, uh, versioning, uh, monitoring, and talk about security, like securing your data and also governance. Like this is the entire scope of this exam, right? So, so it's a lot, right? So this certification is going to validate the full end-to-end, -end, you know, capabilities, right? And I think, I think the industry and people have been looking for a certification like this, right? So I think this is going to fill that gap that people have been looking for, you know, something that is helps you, you know, a structured pathway for you to learn how you can deploy these, um, you know, uh, solutions, Gen AI solutions production-wide on these cloud providers, right? And so the beta exam actually opens up for registration November 18th, 2025. Yes, that is literally just a few weeks from now, uh, which is crazy. <laughs> so when you take the beta exam, you actually can get the certification before it's actually officially released. Right? So right now it's still in the beta form. I can give you um, everything that's incorporated inside taking this exam in this beta form. So the exam is 204 minutes. It's 85 multiple choice questions and multiple response questions. The cost is $150, which is actually a 50% discount because usually the pro certs is um, about $300, right? So you get that 50% discount off the rip and the languages for it is English and Japanese as of now and it's delivered online. Um, using Pearson View Test Centers, okay? So how much experience should you have before attempting this certification, right? So now according to AWS, you should have at least two years of cloud development experience, right? Development experience. So you have to be developing on AWS. The second thing is at least one year of building Gen AI um, applications or exposure to that. So thinking about um, large language models, thinking about fine tuning, think about integrating um, models um, when you're building solutions on AWS, right? So that's around the experience and exposure you should have, right? And then of course you should have fundamental concept understanding of AWS, which is compute, um, IAM, thinking about security, obviously storage, obviously networking, and obviously 
uh, databases and also monitoring, right? So these are around the things you should have. And if you don't, I'm sure there's going to be some courses coming out later. Stefan Merrick also has great courses that correlate to AWS. Uh, Tutorials Dojo obviously has the best uh, practice exams. So I'm looking forward to those being released soon. And I'm personally going to be going through them, of course, and I'm going to be going for the certification. So but let's continue. So according to AWS, what will be in this actual certification, the different topics, right? So we have generative AI models and architecture. So understanding LLMs, uh, embeddings, multimodal models, and prompt optimization. We have a specific AWS AI services, obviously SageMaker, Bedrock, Amazon Q, um, you know, AI machine learning pipelines, orchestration, thinking about those lines. And we have security and responsible AI. Of course, right? So permissions, IAM, encryption, safety of data, biasness, um, governance, all that type of stuff. The other we have is infrastructure deployment, so CICD, monitoring, scaling, uh, fault tolerance, obviously ISC, infrastructure is code, um, using those AWS services or other services, right? Just understanding, getting exposure to knowing how those things work. Now, next, obviously, is cost. When you're building and deploying these stuff in production, cost is a huge factors of cost and performance optimization. So balancing stuff like accuracy, latency, cost, those things are critical. Another is troubleshooting and maintenance, okay? You deploy something, you also have to maintain it, you have to monitor it. So you talk about evaluations, model drift, you talk about retraining and debugging, right? These, all of this is everything that's gonna be part of this exam, right? If you understood anything I just said, which is good, if you don't understand anything I just said, well, you just have to wait and <laughs> you have to learn it. Um, but I think anybody can take this cert if they study and go through the process of learning this thing, right? Because I don't know all this stuff, tell you the truth, but I'm gonna go through the process of learning it myself and I'm gonna pass this certification. If you were to ask me today of how should I prepare for this certification, um, I will lay a few things down. First, I would say start with Bedrock. Bedrock, Bedrock, Bedrock. That's the flagship of uh, when it comes to Gen AI's um, services on AWS. And then you need to understand how to secure and deploy these AI workloads, okay? So we're talking about using IAM, VPC, those fundamental things you need to understand, monitoring, CloudWatch. You need to know how to use these services and how they work and how they integrate and what are the benefits and the usage of how you can leverage them when building these solutions. And then the next is different adjacent services that work together when you're building these um, Gen AI solutions. So we're talking about SageMaker, of course, Lambda, obviously, um, DynamoDB, um, API Gateway. These are some of the services and some of the real use cases they incorporate these services. So you have to know these well. That's why you need to have the foundation of AWS in general, okay? Then next, you wanna read some AWS white papers, right? On responsible AI, cost optimization papers, and then um, reference architectures, right? Any architectures you can see and read, you want to get more exposure into these things so you can understand, especially when these questions come, you can have an understanding of, of how these architectures are built so you can be able to, to answer the best right answer in the exam. All right, in conclusion, this is the next evolution of AWS certifications. We went from cloud, and then we moved to machine learning, and now we're in the world of Gen AI certs. So mark your calendars, beta exam, November 18, 2025. And then in March next year, the machine learning specialty will be retired. Trust me, forget about the machine learning specialty if you're thinking about doing it. Just focus on, on getting the Gen AI professional certification, trust me it's worth more for your time. <laughs> but let me know in the comments, you know, is this a certification that you're willing to go for? Or is this something you're gonna put on the back burner and see how it fishes out? Are you gonna go for the beta or are you gonna wait for it to actually go official? I'm gonna wait just because, you know, I'm trying to see all the information that comes out of it. Um, you know, the, the resources that's gonna come out of it and so I can start utilizing them. Instead of going in blind, you know, I'm not, I'm not that good. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not that good. I don't trust myself to just jump into a beta exam or just take the exam, right? Um, that's not me. So um, hopefully this was great information for you. Um, listen, I'm wishing you all luck. I'm going to go for the exam. I'm going to say this. Keep spreading the good news of the cloud. Later.